On Sunday, rocket debris crashed onto a beach in Sevastopol in occupied Crimea, killing four people and injuring more than 150. Russia initially said it shot down a Ukrainian Atoms, but later retracted that story and accused Kyiv of a deliberate attack. However, build expert Julian Ropk considers this version untenable and provides several arguments to support it. The analyst notes that the beach is 4 kilometers south of the military airfield and 3 kilometers north of the naval base. At the same time, Ukraine previously openly stated that Russian armed forces facilities in Crimea would become targets of attacks, and warned about the dangers of traveling to the peninsula. Also on the beach they found fragments of missiles from the Tor anti-aircraft missile system, which indicates the work of Russian air defense. Each Atoms contains 950 small M74 fragmentation submunitions designed to cause as much damage as possible, the analyst adds. It was they who scattered in all directions when the missile was shot down. At the same time, the footage shows that most of the fragments fall into the sea not along the beach, but across it. This means that Atoms was flying to another target, for example, to an airfield or naval base, and was shot down on approach. Only a small part of the fragments fell on the beach itself. If the Ukrainian armed forces had deliberately attacked tourists with an Atoms missile, the damage would have been incomparably greater, notes Ropk. On Sunday, June 23, Russian air defense shot down a missile over Sevastopol. Its debris fell on the beach where people were relaxing. The Russian Federation reported that as a result of the air defense, four people were killed and more than 150 were injured. After this, Russian tourists began to cancel planned trips to the peninsula. At the same time, analysts at the American Institute for the Study of War said that Russia is purposefully placing military facilities near civilian areas in the temporarily occupied Crimea. Thank you.